So I know we talked about banjo tuning last time, but I wanted to make a video about it as well so that you could refer to the video when you're tuning your banjo. Okay, the first thing, banjo tuning, is you need to know the names of the notes so that when you're using your tuner and you're turning the tuning pegs, uh, you're tuning them to the right note, okay? So this is a diagram of banjo tuning. So if you imagine, this is a kind of very short banjo neck. This up here is the head, this is the nut, okay? And then this down here is the neck where it expands and adds string number five. You see how the neck actually gets a little wider there? So that there is string number five, okay? So when you're tuning the banjo, string number five needs to be a G. G. And then the next string down, which is a wound string. If you look at it very closely, you'll see that it actually has, it actually has like little ridges on it. Um, then then uh, that string has it, and sometimes the next string does too. Okay, so the high string is a G, and then the next string is a D, and then moving along, the next thinnest string is another G. G. So this, this G and the high string are the same note. And then a B. Yoink. That's this one here. And then a D again. Banjo tuning. So, um, let's do it looking at the neck. Okay, so, uh, looking at the neck, this is a G, this is a D, this middle one here is a G again, this one is a B, and this one at the very, very bottom, uh, which I call the top string because it's the highest note, is a D. Okay, so that's actually one thing that I should mention. When I say bottom, I mean top of the world, but bottom note, the lowest note. Mm. And then this is the top, because it's the highest note. Then just a little weird, because the very highest note is on the bottom. Um, okay, so G, D, G, B, D. When you're using your tuner application like this and you play these notes it should say G D G um, B D and when it's playing those notes that that little arrow should be pointing right at the D it can't be pointing anywhere else it can't be pointing over here at the C sharp or up there at the E or anything like that. It needs to point right at the D, right in the very middle. And if it's off at all, your banjo is going to sound weird. So that's it for tuning. Hopefully that'll help.